Hi, it's Jess here from nigesa.co.uk. Thank you for joining me today. So it's another scan and cut video. And this time we're going to be cutting out stamped images. Now I've already stamped them. Didn't think you need to see me stamp them. Um, I've done two stamp sets. So I'm using Brood For You. I never know where to put this. Put the camera up there. Um, using Brood For You, making a birthday card for my youngest son. Um, this stamp set comes with a set of dies that will cut out all the things, um, these images, um, and then a few other bits. Um, I decided I didn't need them because I thought me scan and cut. So this is one of the things where I've kind of written down how much I've saved through um, not um, not having the dies. Um, I'm going to use this set as well. It's a retired set, uh, a Christmas set. I uh, love this Christmas um, sentiment. Um, like the ball balls, it came with a set of punches that would punch out the two ball balls. But I like this um, holly leaf as well. Wanted that cut out. So didn't bother with the punch. Just got this. So they are stamped, um, ready to go. Now, um, what you need to do when you're um, stamping images is you need to check that the image has got a complete outline. Now the baubles are fine, they've got complete outlines, but um, I wanted to just check that the, um, the holly leaf is okay. Now here, it didn't stamp very well. So I need to just draw in those um, areas. Um, now I've used soft suede ink and I've actually got soft suede stamping like marker. So rather than use a pencil, I think I'm gonna use um, this. I've just realized I haven't brought my glasses in here. So I'll just go and get those. There, all set now, got my glasses. So I can see to um, to do this. Let's move the machine back a tad. Not that you can see particularly much. It's really hard to get the camera angled so you can see the machine, and then what I'm what I'm doing. Um, so I'm just I'm going to use this a fine tip and a brush tip. So I'm just going to use the fine tip. Go around. Just where it didn't stamp very well, where I think it will have gaps. I think that's it really, because it's not going to cut in the middle here, um, but that's a leaf anyway. Um, and I can decide whether or not I want to fill those gaps in um, afterwards. So I think that's good to go. So then on, on this one, I filled in the gaps on some of them. I didn't, I didn't stamp that very well. I didn't realise I was off the stamp mat. So the top bit didn't, um, didn't stamp. So I went over it again and I've gone over it with... Um, the pencil, um, that one. These ones down here were pretty good. They didn't need any. The glasses themselves are fine. So um, I do need, bring that in. Um, on here, there's a gap there. So I need to join that gap up. Um, and there's a couple of gaps in the bubble section. They need to uh, be joined up and in same with here. So I'm just going to take, I've, I've stamped in basic grey. So I'm just going to take a basic grey marker and uh, make sure that's joined up. And I'm going to join up these bubbles. Okay. 
going to change to a pencil because it's coming out slightly darker. It might be that the ink pad needs reinking. So I'm going to use the pencil and then uh, I can rub it out afterwards. So I'm just going to go all the way around. Go. Check these gaps here. Think that'll do. So as before, we're just going to load it onto the mat and then get cutting. So, got me mat. I'm saying as before, you may not have watched any of my videos on doing this. Um, so, this was a single sheet of Whisper White. Um, it actually was that way. But when I sprayed some more, the, the um, or Miss Dump and Scrub, managed to get spray over so I uh, I cut it off there we go so that will get on I'm going to give it a bit of a oh where are we I'm going to give it a rub here to make sure that that sticks down So yeah, Whisper White cardstock, the ordinary weight, so we do a, it's basic white, it's not Whisper White anymore, um, we do an ordinary weight and a thicker weight, this is just the ordinary weight. Now, what will happen with these glasses is it won't cut that centrepiece out, but that's okay. Um, when I've done this before, I just used a craft knife to take those out. Or you could leave them, it doesn't really matter. So we're going to press the home button there and that's then telling me that the, the carriage will move to the initial position. Keep your hands away from the carriage. This is the carriage. So just pressing that. So I need to mount. So you've got it actually it's got a ridge either side, so your mat fits in there. We press this button here. It's got a little picture of the grid mat on, and that takes it in. There we go. We're going to scan. We're going to direct cut. Save it to the machine. Um, on here, set it at black and white. This is currently the scan area is 12 by 6. I want to change it to 12 by 12 because I've got an A4 sheet there. It's not as big as 12 by 12, but um, it, uh, it is bigger than 6 by 12. So I'm going to press start. That's going to take it in and it's going to scan what's on the mat. And then we'll see on the screen here. Just give it a minute. And then it will show us what's on the mat. Brilliant. That's what's on the mat. So we'll go OK. And then this is where we can use our arrow button here to get rid of this section. Let me just zoom you in so you can see the screen a bit better. Move myself down. Can I zoom in anymore? There. 
So this is the bottom section of the mat. So we're going to use this arrow using our tool and we're going to take it up to the edge of the paper like so. Now I can see I've gone a little bit too far and I've taken away a little bit there of that bauble. So I'm just going to come down ever so slightly. Okay. Um, it's picking up a little bit off the edge of the mat here. So you can do ignore object size and it will take away some of those little marks. There's a few other little marks because the the actual papers sort of joined there. So I'm gonna go up about just over an inch. That'll be okay. Press okay. And then it's processing what it's seeing. And so all those marks have gone. It's actually got rid of the small bauble because it was just over an inch. So actually, I want to undo that. So that those baubles come back. I can just see now those baubles have come back. So that's okay. When you're up close, you can see the outline of um, the baubles there. Now there is a couple of marks, so we want to edit. And what we want is to get rid of that one. Oh, it doesn't look like it wants to cut that. Oh, it does want to cut that. So that's now highlighted that bit there that I want to get rid of. I don't want it cutting into that. And that appears to be the only, the only bit. So I'm going to enlarge it just to, just to double check that it's going to cut out all these bits and it is. You can see where the outline is and it is going to cut everything. It's not coming inside this anywhere. So the finishing off that drawing did well. Same with these pipe pots here with the froth. But as you can see, it's not going to take the inside of the, the handle, but that's OK. I don't mind that. So happy with that. So then we go, OK, I don't want any margin on it. So if I had the dies and the punch, it would um, have a margin. If I wanted one, I'd add it there. However big a margin I wanted it. And you can see the outline. I couldn't do it any more than that because they're touching there. It would probably tell me that they're now overlapping. So you can see the margins getting smaller. That's the smallest margin they do. I don't want any margin. So I'm just going to have it so that it's fully it's like a die cut right round the end. So we're going to go OK. Now all we see is the outlines. So press select, press cut, and then we press start. So I'm going to zoom you back out so you can see what's going to happen on the cutting mat. So we're going to press start and it's saying it's going to take three minutes. So then I'll have lots of these images ready um, for cards. I've got more uh, beer than I need for one card. Uh, so um, I, I, I find it's good to sort of get quite a few sort of cut out. Uh, I've got more than I need of those Christmas decoration, those Christmas images. I'll probably cut some more of those out, actually, um, because um, 
I've got a few projects coming up that I want uh, Christmas images for, so I will cut some more out. But but that's that's enough for now. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So that's the machine. Just going and cutting them all out for me. It's a huge time saver. Even if you had the dies, it would have taken longer than this to individually cut all of those out. So, uh, so yeah, you might have saved a bit more paper though, because I have, I've done them further space than I need to. Um, I did that more to ease of showing on the video than, than anything else. Um, but um, yeah, they don't have to be um, so spaced out. I could have made them much closer and the machine would have would have coped with that uh, really, really well. So, uh, so yeah, and you might notice one of the beer glasses, I kind of misstamped it, so I've got like beer over on one edge. I might cut all that off and not actually use that. Um, but uh, it's, it's, it's done it for now. So yeah, so if you've got a project and you know you need lots of different images, then uh, this is a good way to do it. You might be mass making and you can cut them all out and that'll be much quicker than, than punching them if you've got a punch. And I like the fact that I can do this without any outline um, around the images. So it's cut right up to the, um, to the edge of the image. That should be. The last one and that's it all done finished cutting okay and that's me done now so i press home it says okay to delete all patterns okay yeah dismount and so now we're gonna take this off so i just pull up the card and all the images are there on the card. And then I can use my spatula and there I've got these ready. Those are gonna look so cool. So that was that. And now I can make my son's birthday card. There are stamps, so I will, because the stamps are photopolymer, I can stamp the beer inside that um, and I can, I can see it. So I didn't need to stamp that section um, now because I can, I can see through to stamp that. And then some of the beer glasses I've got froth on. I like to have um, different different choices. So then that's your your normal pint pot, and then we've got a pint pot with a little bit. That's like some nice frothy ale. That's what I like, and that is some frothy ale that's come proper ski with. It's probably after I've carried it to the table. And then we've got a proper tankard. And I say it doesn't cut the inside of the handle out, but I can um, I can sort that out. And now that now that I've got these cut out in this way, then I can layer them up on a card. Actually, if I layer that behind there, I don't really notice that that, um, that froth's a bit, a bit out of it. So I can have a collection like so. So I hope that was useful. Just a little basic quickness, really easy. Cut your stamped images. And I say you can cut them with a bit of a margin. I just didn't want to do that. 
okay i'm just thinking that actually maybe i'll quickly stamp um a couple more baubles with um, and then cut them with a the margin okay so i just thought i'd take it to this stage for you um you've seen everything else so i've just done it on a little scrap so there is going to be a little bit of the mat showing so we'll go to ignore object size and we know from previous that I can go to 1.1 inch and the small bauble is not going to disappear if I go up we'll see it disappear oh we can't see it disappear but probably because the glasses aren't great I'm just going to go to one inch that'll be enough okay okay so that should now show us what it's got and there so it hasn't got anything else other than those three images there now we want to add a margin so just going to go a little tiny margin um press okay press okay again it's now processing that that is what it's going to cut out Go to cut, gonna take one minute. It says there how long it's gonna take. You've got, you press as auto, speed's five, the half cut's off. You can half cut. That's probably for like scoring and things, I'm not sure. Um, but we're not, we're not doing that. I think you can possibly change things in that, but it's an auto blade, I'm not gonna change anything. So let me just zoom back out so we can start the cutting so start and then we'll... it's testing but there's... over there there's no paper over there the paper's only here so we should be all right i'm hoping there's enough sticky and it's not going to move sometimes i think the mat is losing a little bit of the stickiness but, oh we seem to be doing all right and i did cut off a little scrap off the bottom and i thought oh have i left enough room at the bottom for me edge but i think i have finished cutting pressing home okay dismount so there we go, we'll take that out. And we'll take this off. There we go. And then that's our image with with a slight bit of a margin around it. And we can compare to the ones without a margin so that's i'll do some photographs so you can see them over on my blog so that is with a margin without a margin that is with and without there so it's just preference personal preference what you like what you like the look of okay so so that's it so that is cutting stamped images not a lot of difference really to cutting other images um so so yeah i hope you found that useful and um i hope this is encouraging you to get your expensive pair of scissors out and get them used so um yeah, and I think of what, what to do next time. Um, have a go at There's some things that I've never tried. So um, I am going to push myself out of this comfort zone. I've now sort of mastered the cutting images and um, try a few other things. Okay, if you've got any questions, um, put them down below. I can't guarantee I'll be able to answer them. 
I am, I've just played for a year with it and I know what I know and I don't know what I don't know. So, um, so we'll see, but I'm happy to, to have a go, have a play and, um, and see what happens. I might have a go with my pen next time. I've not tried that. Okay. Bye for now. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you soon.